Hi people, it's Sarkovist here and welcome to the Warlords of Draenor beta. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys the beta's opening. Please keep in mind that this is a beta and therefore everything you see here is subject to change. Okay, so to be totally clear, this is my first time playing the beta and I have very little idea of what to expect from this. So in this video I'm only going to be talking about my... Uh, well, my current experiences with the game after just a few minutes basically, about 10 minutes roughly. I knew that we were going to Draenor, which is essentially Outland before it was destroyed, and at first I had a pretty strong concern that the game would be a bit too much like Cataclysm, but the end game becomes Cataclysm. And what I mean by that is, it's the same world just redone a bit, and I thought, you know, that's well and good for nostalgia, but ultimately it's it's the same thing, and it's, you know, it's a bit too much like it's recycling. But wow. This is completely unrecognisable. By the way, this is a Tanan jungle, and this used to be, if you can believe it, Hellfire Peninsula. It was a barren, it was the most barren zone in the game. That was more barren than the barrens. And this is just, com I mean, apart from the fact that dark portals here, it's just completely different. But what you might notice is a little bit of a, I think it's like a homage almost, because if you remember the first moment when you walk through the dark portal in the Burning Crusade, you see all the demons lining up to fight you. And here it's similar thing, but now it's with, I think it's the Iron Horde versus, well, us, the, the good guys. Uh, and as you know, you see some of your favourite heroes, there's Khadgar, uh, some other people, uh, lots of enemies. It's really cluttered, there are so many enemies on screen all fighting at once. Although it was impressive seeing those demons before, there's more of a sense of actual fighting here. Because before it was, they were lining up to fight and you'd be one at a time, it was chaotic. Here, there, you know, it looks like a battle. Obviously, I'm not going to ignore the elephant in the room, unless uh, Blizzard have gone very minimalist. Certain areas haven't been textured, but as I say, this is of course a beta, things like this will happen. And what I'm assuming this means is they're going to put a lot of work into making the Dark Portal look absolutely fantastic. You know, it's going to be one of their major projects and they don't want to release like a half-assed uh, texture detail for what is one of, the, you know, a monument to the game. I mean, so uh, the Dark Portal is such a familiar icon to so many Warcraft players, so I totally get why they'd want to spend uh, more time on it. A few things also I noticed, uh, the Orc model, getting a closer inspection on it, it looks awesome. Not all of the models have been redone so far, but the ones that have look pretty good. I even noticed, in fact, I think the Draenei, are, it's very subtle because the Draenei didn't look too bad anyway, but I think they've been redone, which is really good because my actual character is a Draenei Shaman, but I chose Orc here because the difference is so uh, visible. With regards to spells, there's been a few changes, but... As this is my first time playing the game, I haven't really gone through looking at all the different class differences. I've just uh, seen what the game has to offer from the beginning. And it's, I mean, it's familiar, you're doing quests. It, it's very like uh, reminiscent of pretty much all the expansions. They all start with a bang. With Mr. Pandario, you were on a, a gunship and you were shooting down a, a, a village. And here you've gone through the Dark Portal and you're uh, assaulting the Iron Horde. And also you see uh, Goldan at some point, he'll come up and he's, I think he, you're actually trying to close the Dark Portal as well. That was a, a point in this uh, I noticed. I didn't uh, pay attention to too many plot points because weirdly enough, although I want to show the beta off to you guys, at the same time I kind of don't want to spoil some certain things for me so I've been deliberately a little vague with these major plot points. I might uh, pay more attention to some minor quests. But I want to have a uh, you know a fresh experience when I actually play the game properly for the first time as well. Uh, so the opening area looks obviously certain details have been left out being a beta, but it looks like this could have some massive potential when it finally comes out. A few other things I noticed. I don't know if this is just a beta thing, but when you mouse over, and I don't think you see my cursor here, but if you mouse over a character, there's an outline, like a strengthened outline. So if it's green, if it's an ally, blue, if it's uh, another player, red, if it's an enemy. And I actually found this quite useful. It makes it very easy to very, you know, quickly identify uh, enemies and allies. Also, it just there's just something about it that looks modern. And I think that's what this expansion is trying to do for World of Warcraft. It's making it a modern game, bringing it into the, uh, the modern era. I mean, it's got to compete with some um, other games now, like Wildstar, so it's got to constantly adapt. Although I did find myself wanting to click on the quest, trying to get the arrow. I wish they'd bring something like that in. I'm sure there's an add-on available at some point. You know, the beta does restrict what you can see. I mean, it, it did have some certain problems, like I couldn't seem to uh, 
save my key bindings, they kept disappearing, so I had to do a bit of uh, pointing and clicking on the spells, which feels so old, because I used to do that when I first started playing in the Burning Crusade, but again, that's a beta issue, that will be fixed. Another thing uh, for my fellow graphics enthusiasts, they've changed uh, multi-sampling to anti-aliasing, which I'm hoping will actually eventually capitalise on certain features that NVIDIA uh, offer, like uh, if it's got TXAA, I'll be so impressed, because that's a really good anti-aliasing effect, if they can do that. So this has been basically the uh, Dark Portal part of Tanan Jungle. And then we move on to deeper into the Tanan Jungle and this looks a lot more, I'd say, uh, complete because it's not so pivotal of an area so they don't have to put as much detail in. Although it looks a little empty in some areas, a little unblizzard almost, so I'm assuming more detail will come to light, but it looks so different. And I, you know, I really struggle to believe that this was once the, uh, the Hellfire Peninsula because this is the complete opposite, it's lush. Very much like the Lost Isles, the Goblin Secondary Zone. Uh, I quite liked it. There was a, you might see this at some point, for some reason there was an error coming up whenever I did a quest objective. I don't know why, because the quest objective was being completed. Uh, also, you'll uh, notice perhaps my lava burst, if you've been playing a shaman recently, the spell effect is actually more intricate. When I, Mr. Pandaria came out, I'm almost certain they made the spell effects less, uh, I, I guess, dynamic, less intricate, as I say. I think they've gone back to what it was like before now, so they've gone back to that really good look. So Lava Burst is teeming with detail, and I actually haven't even turned the settings all the way up here. This is just on high, by the way. Only thing I've actually turned on is V-Sync, because no one wants to see, uh, see screen tearing. Perhaps the only uh, criticism I can say to so far is that things do seem very familiar, but at the same time, that's, that's a compliment in a way, because World of Warcraft has been around now for going on 10 years, and... If you're Blizzard, you don't want to change the fundamentals. And there is almost something, I don't know, uh, warmly familiar about just going around killing a few enemies and, you know, ticking them off one by one, taking them down. There weren't too many differences I could tell to the Shaman class. I play it simply because it's the one I've got on the live server. Uh, I, I couldn't tell too many differences other than the uh, aforementioned Lava Burst graphical increase. And I'm sure that probably applies to plenty of other classes. I'm really hoping, and I'll check this actually, I'm really hoping they've made the Mage spells look better. Because they look really outdated to be honest. And you know, they're doing certain things to improve the graphics with the new models which look excellent. Uh, um, and I'm hoping spell effects will come along as well. But generally, the Tanan jungle, from what I've seen so far, and I will continue to play, so look out for that. It seems pretty fun, it's a pretty decent looking zone. Oh, by the way, I couldn't fly at the beginning, although I am mounting um, a flying mount, you can't get off the ground, you know, it's limited to using the ground, so I think they're doing that again, which is good because, although it's well and good to fly, if you can just soar over all the obstacles at the beginning, it makes the game a little too easy, and you're not really appreciating how Blizzard wanted you to see the game from the ground. So I can see why they've done that, and they've done it pretty much every expansion. So this was my first look at the Warlords of Draenor beta. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and please come back for more if you want to see more. As always, people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time. Subscribe to the Archivist 42 channel for gaming top fives, reviews, and more.